All right, well, I uh, kind of laid everything out here, at least kind of giving the once over to a lot of the pieces. And again, the, the cutouts, laser cut, water jet, something. Real nice, not sharp, but nice clean edges. Real nice looking parts. Um, as I suspected, the um, power supply, that's what it looks like, by the way, this monster, monster power supply. Um, it has mounting holes on the back, four of them. I suppose it's got a couple on the sides too. Um, but regardless, the two holes for the side that you'd mount the power supply on, it's this one with the two little holes on it, they don't line up. Um, I'm sure you can't see that, but if I, even if I wanted one hole to line up, it would push this power supply off way too uh, far into the frame. So I am going to have to make some marks um, and drill those out. I've got a drill press, no big deal, but uh, just figure I'd give you guys a heads up on that. Um, shouldn't be hard at all. But you, I think the way that they designed this kit, if I'm not mistaken, I think you're only supposed to put two holes in. It looks, if I'm really careful, it looks like I might be able to get three in or two on a diagonal instead. It might not matter. But I'll be drilling those out here in a moment. And while I have the power supply in my hand, um, the box looks like it's in good shape, but uh, this power supply has seen a bumper bruise. A um, little bent fin on this uh, vent here. Not a big deal, but just of note. Um, I did get the, uh, this did come with a power supply with the fan in it, which will be nice. A lot of them just come with uh, perforated cover, um, so this is we'll call it an upgrade from the, the base model, if you will. Again, just another thing that oh, uh, Folger Tech uh, included in their kit that made them more desirable from the next guy. So, Alright, I'll get back to you after I drill.